In the last lecture, we displayed a map in the web page centered around a given latitude and longitude, which we passed to map object as map options. Now we want to display a map marker on that position in the map. To mark a specific location on the map, Leaflet provides map markers. These markers uses a default symbol and these symbols can be customized. So in this lecture, you will learn how to add markers and how to customize, animate and remove them from the map. In the script.js file, after creating the map, now we want to add a marker on this latitude and longitude in that map. So to create a marker, in this leaflet library, we have this marker class. Now this L here is the namespace for leaflet library. And inside this namespace, we have all the objects, methods and, you know, classes which we can use to work with maps. Now to this marker class, we need to pass a latitude and longitude value where we want to display the marker. And for that, we are going to use an array and inside this we have to provide the latitude and longitude. So I am passing this let variable and this lang variable. Okay, so this will create a marker on this latitude and longitude value. Let's store this marker instance in a variable and let's simply call it marker. And now we need to add this marker to the map. So here we are creating a marker. Now let's add this marker to the map. And for that, again, we can use this add to method. So on this marker, let's call add to method. And where we want to add this marker, we want to add this marker to this map. So let's pass it to this add to method and let's change it to let. And with this, it should display a marker on the map at this latitude and longitude. Okay, so this latitude and longitude. Let's save the changes. And here you can see a marker has been displayed. Now, currently, this marker is not draggable. And also, when I hover over this marker, it is not showing anything. But it is possible to add some options for this marker. Let's see how to do that. So, while creating a marker, we can also pass a marker option object in addition to this latlang variable. And for this object, we can set values for various options. So let's create that object and let's call it marker option. And inside this, we can set some options. So first option we are going to set is title. Now, this title is a text or a string value for the browser tooltip that will appear on marker when we hover over it. So for this, for now, let's pass my location okay then we want to have clickable property and here this clickable is a boolean property so either you can set true or false for it now this clickable property tells whether the marker should be clickable or not and we want to make the marker clickable so for that we can set true then we also have draggable property and this draggable property is again a boolean property and it also tells whether the marker should be draggable or not using mouse or touch so let's say we want the marker to be draggable so let's set it to true and now we need to pass this marker options this object to this marker class as its second argument Okay, now if I save the changes, now you will notice that when I hover over this marker, it should display a text. So for some reason, 
okay but this marker is now draggable and it is also clickable okay so when i click on it you can see it is zooming in all right and now you can see that it is also displaying the text which we set for title property okay so in this way we can also set options for a marker now let me refresh the page and currently this marker is a default marker okay its color is blue and it has a default size but instead of displaying a default marker we can also display a custom marker the marker of our choice so i already have a marker image which is inside this images folder and the name of this image is images marker.png if i open this you can see this is the marker which we want to display instead of default marker so let's see how to do that in order to create a custom marker we have a class called as icon so l dot icon and to this class we need to pass options object so let's directly pass an anonymous object here and in this object we need to set two properties icon url and here the icon url is this url so inside this images folder we have this marker.png so let's pass that path here so marker i mean images slash marker.png so this is first option we need to uh, provide the icon url and the second option is icon size and here this should be an array which will contain the height and width so let's pass 50 and 50 for height and width okay let's store it in a variable and let's call it custom icon so here we are creating a custom icon now we need to assign this custom icon to another property which is icon so inside this inside this marker options we need to create one more property and to that property we need to assign this custom icon which we have just created now let's save the changes and now you can see in the map it is displaying the custom icon custom marker now we can also display a pop-up box here on this marker whenever a user click on this marker and that pop-up box will contain some text so let's see how to do that so before we add this marker to the map class let's create a pop-up and for that on this marker class i mean marker object we can call bind pop-up method and to this bind pop-up method we can pass any text value which we want to display in the pop-up so for now let's say hey there okay you can pass any text and once you know you call this bind pop-up method you also need to call the open pop-up method on this in order to open the pop-up so let's call this open pop-up and with this let's save the changes and now when i click on this marker here you can see it is displaying a pop-up with this message hey there it is also possible to customize this pop-up but we will see that in the coming lectures if you want to learn more about markers then in the documentation of leaflet.js you can find it so here you will see how to you know create a marker an example for that and the options which we can pass for the marker okay also the events which we can have on the marker and many more things so if you want to learn more about leaflet.js and markers then please refer this documentation from the next lecture we are going to start implementing our project 
where we will display a list of stores in this web page so after this form we are going to display a list of stores and that store the location of that store will be displayed in the map using a marker like this this is all from this lecture thank you for listening have a great day